Hey tech heads, Fina here. Today we're going to take a quick look at the technology that stands behind the cheap EVs that Volkswagen's preparing for the Chinese market. So in an attempt to stay competitive in China's EV market, Volkswagen has announced a partnership with the local EV manufacturer Xpeng. And this collaboration will result in four affordable entry-level EVs, which are going to be engineered specifically for the Chinese market. They're going to utilize Xpeng's electronic architecture, which will help them reduce costs by up to 40% which I think could get interesting. And if it turns out to be a good match, I wonder if we can look forward to seeing maybe similar cheap EVs in Europe come the future. The new zonal E slash E architecture, which is also dubbed the China Electrical Architecture or CEA, will be jointly developed by Xpeng, the Volkswagen China Technology Company or VCTC, and carry out China. This architecture is separate from the running gear architecture, which integrates components like the traction battery and motors. Now, these upcoming affordable EVs will be based on the China main platform, CMP, which is being developed in collaboration with the SAIC Volkswagen and FAW Volkswagen joint ventures. It's good to note that the biggest advantage of Xpeng's involvement in Volkswagen's upcoming EVs will definitely be that significant reduction in costs. As I already mentioned, Volkswagen expects a 40% drop in costs compared to the current MEV platform. And this is thanks to the reduced complexity as well as a lower number of control units that come with the adoption of Xpeng's e e technology. In addition to the four entry-level EVs that will debut in 2026, the new China electrical architecture will also be used in two mid-range Volkswagen EVs that are jointly developed with Xpeng. The first of these models is going to be an SUV, and both are expected to hit the Chinese market in two years. Now, looking back at last year, Volkswagen Group acquired a 4.99% stake in Xpeng, for approximately 700 million in a bid to fast track the development of the two midsize electric models. And this partnership is a part of Volkswagen's broader strategy to maintain its position as a leading player in the world's largest and most competitive electric car market. Now, this is a strategy that we all know Volkswagen desperately needs to implement at this point, and I'm hoping they might also take notes for their European strategy as well. I do think this collaboration could become a great example of how traditional automakers can partner with more agile, tech-focused EV startups to stay relevant in this rapidly evolving EV market. By leveraging Xpeng's expertise in electronic architecture, Volkswagen will finally be able to develop affordable EVs that meet the unique needs of the Chinese market, while of course staying competitive on cost. As the market continues to grow and evolve, I believe we can certainly expect to see more partnerships like this one because it's essentially the best of both worlds. You get the relative stability of an established brand with the agility and innovation of a younger up-and-comer. Now tell me, what do you guys think about this partnership? Will it help Xpeng get on the EV map even outside of China? And will it help Volkswagen stay relevant and competitive on the Chinese market? And could these tech savings possibly translate to cheaper Volkswagen EVs for Europe in the future as well? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, I would love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more EV updates if you haven't done so already. As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.